I realized that I'm starting to feel pains here when I, you know, hold the, the soprano a bit high, you know, the, the stress of, you know, wanting to sound good. <laughs> I hope that's just the problem. Um, and then later on, I'll feel better. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you about um, the low notes. That on the soprano, low notes are pretty, pretty, pretty enjoyable to play. Um, for me, as for me, they are pretty easy to voice out, but at the same time, they they kind of stable. If you, for example, the B on the soprano is pretty easy to play compared to the alt on the tenor, because on the alt on the tenor it's pretty hard to voice out the B note, the low B note, this note. <laughs> one thing to play the, the the low notes but the quality of the low notes is also another issue um i think for you to play a very beautiful low note that is stable that requires a lot and a lot of practice and practice with uh a you know how much a you put into the instrument um will determine how much uh the quality of the low notes you, you play uh, of course coming from the alt and the tenor, there's a tendency for me to put in a lot of air into the instrument. But also I need to be conscious of the fact that if I put too much air, then I might sound a different note, maybe a, a note higher than the, 
the faggot nut. <laughs> So I try to put in a lot of air now to see what happens, and that's exactly what happens, you know. I played I played the lower B flat, but I also sounded the higher B flat. So I I need to practice to know how much air will get me the the lower B flat without any um, any partials coming into play. That is just the the amount I need. So playing arpeggios is one way to to help me, you know, listen to my intonation, you know, the if the notes are sharp or flat, but also it helps me also to to play with a relaxed and kind of constant ambition because the ambition is, is important for me to 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 see how much improvement I'm making. And for me the only way I can judge how much improvement I'm making with my ambusher is to see if I can go from a low note to a high note, keeping the same ambusher without actually alternating. Say, for example, if I play a low note, I play with a, with a kind of relaxed ambusher or low relaxed lip pressure. And when I go high, I go with a high or a kind of tight pressure. The goal is to have one uh, ambusher or lip pressure. So as you can hear, I still struggle with the with the E flat note. And one thing I realize is that on this soprano, the E flat is a bit stiff. So maybe I'm going to reduce um, the spring pressure just to just to make it a little bit easier for me. Because if I miss it, if I don't hit it exactly at, at the middle of the key then it doesn't come out as good. So I think it's a bit too hard. I think the, the C is, is pretty easy. It's pretty light action, but on the uh, E flat, the action is a bit too stiff. So I need to check on that later on. <laughs> So I'm going to continue to work on the lower notes and for the remainder of this practice anyways. <laughs> 